we spend a significant portion of our days working. So relationships with our colleagues are critical for our overall psychological health. Conflict with colleagues, as well as actual or perceived unfairness in the workplace, particularly when it pertains to important outcomes such as a promotion, can have a tremendous negative impact on our overall job satisfaction. It's normal to feel disappointed, frustrated, and perhaps even angry when we feel we've experienced the short end of the stick when it comes to important outcomes or decisions at work. My name is Dr. Jody, and I'm a registered psychologist with expertise in all things related to psychological health, wellness, and resilience. I'm also the CEO and founder of MyWorkplaceHealth.com, and I'm a national expert in psychological health and safety in the workplace. In this video, I'll be talking about ways to manage negative emotional states toward a colleague when there's been an unfair decision made at work. As human beings, we tend to enter a state of cognitive constriction or tunnel vision when faced with a stressful situation, particularly when it has to do with another person. We tend to paint the entire situation or object of our discontent with broad strokes. This manifests as us being much more likely to only focus on negative attributes of situations. This can lead to a snowball effect over time where our emotions become more and more negative and difficult to manage the more time that passes. So what are some ways you can manage a situation where you feel you've been unfairly treated by another at work? First, identify and articulate your feelings and thoughts as specifically as possible. Who are you mad at and why? Your boss for making an unfair decision? Your colleague for being the recipient of an unfair decision or outcome? Is there any aspect of you feeling upset with yourself? Second, think about what it is that this colleague did or didn't do that may have contributed to them getting treated differently. For example, getting a specific project or promotion at work that you felt you deserved. Writing your thoughts down can help bring some objectivity and clarity to the situation. Third, if applicable, request a meeting with your boss or the person who is in decision-making power. Express interest in determining what you can do differently, as well as areas of improvement that could have helped you get the role or responsibility that you wanted. Indicate a clear commitment to your job and an interest in moving ahead within the organization. Ask what you could have done differently. Avoid bad-mouthing your colleague and instead stay very focused on your own personal areas for improvement. Ask for actionable feedback, both positive and negative. Then request a follow-up meeting a few weeks down the road to evaluate progress as appropriate. This can help refocus the negative energy from the colleague to the job and your own self-improvement. But how do you approach this colleague if there are still negative feelings that you're experiencing toward them? Be mindful of the internal evaluations that you hold about this colleague. It's stunning how powerful our thoughts can be in shaping both our behaviors as well as our emotional reactions to others. For example, thinking things like, they're such a jerk, they didn't deserve that promotion, when you see them will likely shift your demeanor and emotional state in a more negative direction. Catch those unhelpful thoughts and replace them with more objective, non-judgmental ones, such as, I feel strongly that they didn't deserve the promotion, but they got it and I need to move forward. Rather than focusing on them, I'm going to focus on what I can do differently. This may sound simple, but our thoughts can be very powerful in shifting our mood. We have a breadth of free resources on psychological health and safety for employees and organizations at myworkplacehealth.com that you may find useful. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you found this video helpful. Please take a moment to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on our social media platforms for more helpful tips.